This building was in the brink of uh, being demolished in 2001 and uh, we put together a uh, plan to uh, revitalize it, raise some money and uh, did a renovation. And as part of that renovation is we uh, dedicated some space for a labor history museum and it's the only one uh, in the state of Michigan. So uh, if we would like we can do a little tour of the, uh, the exhibit area. Part of the strategic planning when we put the museum in is uh, it was our goal to get every fourth grade classroom uh, to have a field trip through here to uh, uh, indoctrinate them into the history of the labor movement. And uh, child labor is something that always reaches out to the fourth graders. Well, what our thought process is, is uh, so many times uh, labor gets uh, coined as a bad four letter word. And what we want to do is plant that seed, you know, when they're roughly in the fourth grade, plant that seed that uh, labor is, is not a bad thing. It's, it's get, gotten us a lot of the, the benefits, the standard of living that we have today, um, health care, the weekend, um, unemployment insurance, um, all the things that uh, are kind of safety nets and uh, standards of, uh, of uh, the way that we live today in America. Uh, one thing that uh, I was educated on uh, putting this timeline together, which uh, I never put the two together, is when you looked at when the economy was struggling in America is when the rise of the labor movement was going up. Hmm. Um, there was the uh, recessions and depressions back in the uh, 1850s uh, and 60s and 70s, and uh, that's when we had the rise of the FL in the Knights of Labor. And then uh, when we had the depression in uh, the 30s, uh, is when we uh, got the Wagner Act, and that was the very beginning um, for the rise of the CIO unions, the Industrial Revolution, all the unskilled workers were getting organized. And um, so that was something that uh, I learned in the process.